Brian Williams had a great piece on Carl Sagan last night. I have some clips of it that I want to show you, and then let's go ahead and uh, take it on the other side. But I think when you see this, it's going to be sort of shocking. Check this out. It is a new appreciation of Carl Sagan that so many people find way overdue. Armed with four degrees from the University of Chicago, Sagan was an astronomer, scientist, astrophysicist, a genuine public intellectual. He taught at Harvard and Cornell and was ahead of his time almost by definition. Jason Johnson called our attention to this clip on social media today. Here is Carl Sagan on Johnny Carson calling out a new movie called Star Wars for its faulty assumptions and lack of diversity. Star Wars starts out saying it's on some other galaxy. Right. And then you see there's people. And uh, scene, starting in scene one, there's a, there's a problem because human beings are the result of a unique evolutionary sequence based upon right. so many individually unlikely random events on the Earth. In fact, I think most evolutionary biologists would agree that if you started the Earth out again and just let those random factors operate, you might wind up with beings that are as smart as us and as ethical and artistic and all the rest, but they would not be human beings. That's for the Earth. So in another planet, different environment, yeah. very unlikely to have human beings. Are you saying on another galaxy, uh, it's not possible that there could be... It's extremely unlikely that uh, there would be creatures as similar to us as, uh, as the dominant ones in Star Wars, and there's a whole bunch of other things. They're all white. The skin of uh, all the humans in, uh, in Star Wars, oddly enough, is sort of like, like this. Right. And uh, not even the uh, other colors represented on the Earth are present, much less uh, greens and blues and purples and oranges. They did have the scene in Star Wars with a lot of strange characters. Yeah, but none of them seem to be in charge of the galaxy. Everybody in charge of the galaxy seemed to look like us. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I thought there was a large amount of human chauvinism. And also, I felt very bad that at the end, the Wookiee didn't get a medal also. You know, all, all the people got medals, and the Wookiee who had been in there fighting all the time, he didn't get any medal. And I thought that was an example of anti-Wookiee discrimination. <laughs> Carl Sagan could not have predicted 2021, but he did see it coming. He wrote the following back in 1995, and we quote, I have a foreboding of an America in my children's or grandchildren's time when the United States is a service and information economy, when nearly all the manufacturing industries have slipped away to other countries, when awesome technological powers are in the hands of a very few, and no one representing the public interest can even grasp the issues when the people have lost the ability to set their own agendas or knowledgeably question those in authority, when clutching our crystals and nervously consulting our horoscopes, our critical faculties in decline, unable to distinguish between what feels good and what's true, we slide almost without noticing back into superstition and darkness. The dumbing down of America is most evident in the slow decay of substantive content in the enormously influential media. Media. The 30 second sound bites now down to 10 seconds or less. Lowest common denominator programming, credulous presentations on pseudoscience and superstition, but especially a kind of celebration of ignorance. The celebration of ignorance, the dumbing down of America that makes our job so much more difficult, that allows those right-wing charlatanes to go on TV and tell you that a vaccine that has worked in 3 million people and maybe 100 or so people get uh, afflicted with something uh, not too bad or bad, that somehow it is not functional, it's not worked. The unscientific nature of how America has become, after being the bastion of the earth, the manufacturing capital of the world, as it because of this economic system exports all of that to other places to to make it cheap so that a few can benefit of uh, benefit from it. It is amazing how accurately in nineteen uh, or nineteen something he was able to see the direction that we're heading, the direction of uh, praising dumbness, the the uh, and believing in superstition, believing in in a hyperbole, folks, it's not too late yet. There are many out there that if you really want to match your life to reality and not what they're programming you into, programming you to become, we can still get there. I have faith that 
if we are able to talk to our brothers and sisters or neighbors or families, that we can actually get there. But Paul Sagan's words are prescient. I like how he starts it. He starts it with all the, uh, how, I mean, pe people may want to ask, why did he start with Star Wars? He wanted to show a concept, a broken concept, and then a broken nation. And how a broken concept, believe it or not, leads to a broken nation. When you can't take real, assum real right life assumption on how things work, if you start in the wrong place, it's hard not to get to the wrong place. Carl Sagan's words are present. I hope people read or understand that in the context. And going forward, we try like hell to make that, that course correction before it is absolutely too late, before that critical mass is there to bring us all down. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.